Hey, it's Margie with the Asking Spot, and this week's project is yet another curb find. Got a neighbor that was just gonna toss it out, so I thought I'd give it a second chance. Here it goes. You're in the way! Well, this didn't go to plan. Um, I used first nail polish remover, didn't work. Then I tried some icy purple, AKA rubbing alcohol. And then finally I used WD-40 and I'm scraping the goo off. And well, it's kind of getting it. If you have a better idea or suggestion for this, please put that in the description below. Yet an hour later. Once you've scraped off all of the goo, which I still have more to do here, but the rest are looking good. Hand sanitizer. It's a great way to get the goo of the WD-40 off. I have seen loads of folks using those, uh, you know, razor scraper things, and I've always been like, oh, I couldn't do that. I'd mess up the piece. I'd scratch through. But then I watched um, Dashner Design and Restoration. I'll put a link to the video below. He's so good. Um, but he showed, you know, how to do it safely, and I was able even to do some really great work with just a regular razor blade here that I think I might have to invest in one of the fancier ones. And when I started seeing the final results of this, I was like, ooh, I really want to just put on a, you know, like a Danish oil or something and let it be all natural and pretty. But I kept sanding and found this. That's a big old hot mess there. So I'm gonna give this a white wash. It'll still give me the wood grain, but hopefully disguise this a little bit better. I have done this technique a few times, so I'll definitely put a link in the description box below if you wanna see a slower, more detailed version of it. Pretty much watered down chalk paint is ideal for making sort of a paint stain and you just brush it on real watery and kind of wipe it off after it's set for a little bit. Um, the beauty of it is, is it's very flexible. You can sand it off if you put too much on and you can come back and put more on if you need to, or just leave it on longer and it'll be more opaque. Two coats. Thumbs up if you're like me and your ADD makes it so you rarely, if ever, get to drink hot tea. I keep forgetting it. Random! Okay, it's time to paint. Um, normally I do this outside with really great lighting, but eh, so much rain, so much humidity. I have been changing my mind about what to do with this piece now first I thought I should have just left it black and then spray painted the gems black and made it just a super cute way to hold Halloween candy you know sprinkle some webs on it but that seemed a bit much and then I went a bit much the other direction once I put the primer on I thought whoa this could be winter white and maybe I could put some sparklies in it and make it the ultimate Christmas tree holder because 
we have dogs, you know, got to elevate the tree. But that didn't work. So I thought, hmm, let's go with this. The garden experience. Kind of looked like they were little flowers. So that's what I'm going with. However, my attempt to paint flowers, uh, fail. So I came up with something else. Decapitation? Huh. Guess what time it is. Okay, so there was plenty of ways I could have gone with this piece, but uh, let's take a look back at where it started. And if you could, please click that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up because it's time to show the results. Here we have it. Is it a bit too much? Uh, maybe. I'm not sure anyone needs this, but um, I don't know. It brings a little joy in my life when I see it. And it kind of gets me thinking that, oh, maybe if I tire of the daisies, I can pluck them out and switch them out with other flowers. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for watching the asking spot. Uh, apologies to Sparkle fans, um, especially my sister, who is one. Um, here's the final results. It's just a happy little piece and I, you know, it might be a curve fine for me, someone else too, soon. <laughs> I don't know, oh, but it makes me happy when I look at it. <laughs> la la la.